Uh, we're talking like sometimes $15 per kilowatt hour uh, on a really good day when there's that, that spike that Amber is very well known for. Okay, so let's talk about our current setup in our home. So we've got an 8.4 kilowatt solar system and I don't plan to upgrade that or increase the capacity of the solar anytime soon uh, because I really want to experiment the 40 kilowatt hour battery with Amber, which is a wholesale pricing uh, distributor here in Australia. Um, it's basically a VPP, but using wholesale pricing to give you, I guess, best bang for your buck for a battery. So I think Amber is very good for batteries, uh, but the whole point of Amber and batteries is like stock trading. Okay, so the aim is to, to buy the energy when it's low, when it's cheaper, either with solar or just when the grid's cheaper with Amber and then selling highs. Uh, we're talking like sometimes $15 per kilowatt hour uh, on a really good day when there's that, that spike that Amber is very well known for. Admittedly, that will only be probably for a couple of hours, but $15 for, you know, um, potentially two hours, that's a lot. So you could have gone smaller, like 15, 10, but I think, you know, for a 40, 40 kilowatt hour battery with the future installation of a DC fast charger, I think 25 is reasonable because the DC fast charger is 25 kilowatts. So we went for a 25 kilowatt inverter so that we could take advantage of the speeds of the DC charger one day. Yeah, that was, that was the issue when there were price spikes with our old power wall too, because that could only give back to the grid at a maximum rate of five. Um, and so I'm like, no, there's a price spike, but I can yeah. only sell, Keep chucking. you know, five. <laughs> Whereas if there's a price spike with this, we'd be selling 22? At a Maximum rate of 22, output, as output. opposed to at a rate yeah. of 5. It's over four times as much as we were doing before. And True. summer comes around yes. for those spikes. 